and she's like, I want to be on your video. This video is almost over. What is happening? That chair. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. I'm Hillary with Budget to Bougie and today I want to discuss a follow-up to my BoxyCharm reveal that I have with my husband. I did use the Becca setting powder, um, Hydra Mist set powder. It had no color on the back and the reason why it doesn't have any color on the back is because it's only in two different colors. So there's light and bronze. I did not know that before I pulled stuff out of the box. I should do that next time. But I really don't like to look at stuff before we reveal it because I like to be have have this element of surprise. But it is what it is. So I used this yesterday and I usually use Laura Mercier. Now I'm using Laura Mercier up because she's not cruelty free. The company's not cruelty free. It's a whole big thing. So Becca though is from what everything I read online, <clears throat> even though the parent company is not, she is. So, I did use it yesterday, and let me tell you, I am sad that I did not buy this when it came out. Um, it came out at the beginning of this year, I think spring, like maybe March, April-ish. <clears throat> this stuff, <laughs> first of all, it's weird. I'm not, I'm not in a bad way, like weird, like I've never had a setting powder or any kind of powder feel like it did when I was going on my face. So usually when I set my powder, I don't use a dampened sponge. I just use a dry sponge, tap it off, pat it. That's just my per preferred way of doing it. Dabbed in after I took the little cover off and put it on and I thought, oh my gosh, did I wet my sponge? Like it felt wet, like I had wet my sponge and I don't recall doing that. Sometimes when I take my sponges, in order to make them damp, I'll take a wet wipe and I'll rub it and then it gives me just the perfect dampness to put my foundation on or whatever I'm using it for. But I don't, after I started putting this powder on, I didn't remember doing that. So I stopped and I took a, I took my powder brush and I dipped it in and then I just started to set my face and it gave me the exact same feeling. So I knew it was not the, the damp, the non-damp sponge. It literally feels like it's wet when it's going on. It is the wildest thing I've ever felt. Um, it goes on, it sticks, it stays. You can blend it out. Um, it's just, it's so fine. It's like, the, I don't think I've ever felt a powder this fine milled. Like it is amazing. Yeah, I just put it on like I us do my usual routine and let it set and then wiped it off and wore it all day long. So I put my makeup on about six o'clock yesterday morning and I got home around, like it was seven-ish. And then I didn't take my makeup off until I think it was like 9.30. So I had it on for an extended amount of time. And let me tell you, first of all, it stayed. This did not fall into my creases. It did not fall into my cracks. It did not fall into my crevices. Um, the parts that were wear, wore off was my foundation and my foundation was falling into my pores and my lines. It does that after like hour eight, hour 10. It, it's normal, completely normal. And <laughs> the Stay Naked Concealer never moved. I have been trying to get this stuff to not move, cake crease, um, after like hour eight and it did not do any of that yesterday. It actually, these two are like a match made in heaven. Get married, have babies. Um, because I had nothing, this still is perfect. This whole area, which is like my trouble area, this whole area was still looked as good at 6 a.m. as it did at, you know, 8 o'clock. It was absolutely amazing. Everything else had went in the toilet and was not a surprise, but these two things were still on my face and didn't look like garbage. It was absolutely amazing. So I... I am in love with this stuff. I can't believe how well it works. I don't, I mean, yeah, it gets really good reviews and it had amazing reviews, but I, I really don't, I can tell you what the reviews are, but until I use the product, I don't want to say it's great. Like, oh, it seems like it's great. Everybody seems to like it. But then again, everybody seems to like this little guy. And I do like this product, but like I said, it's not a summertime foundation. But then there's people that are like, I have 
sat around for 12 hours and didn't budge. Then you didn't go outside and you didn't exert yourself because if you did, this stuff would be running all over your face. So that's why I don't believe reviews sometimes. I think sometimes they're geared towards the brand so the brand looks good. But if it's a good product, you don't have to do that. It'll just show you that it works and you can go. And that was this for me yesterday. And also I, this, I love it. Use it every day now. Okay. Um, next, <laughs> I said I like the, the, the mascara by Tarte. I like the Lights Camera Action. It's actually not called that. <laughs> it's called Lights Camera Lashes. Um, that's one of my favorite mascaras. Now, Big Ego is, is big and it's bright and it's in your face. Um, but that's about all I can say about it. It's just a regular mascara. There's nothing super exciting about this for me. Nothing. Like, I still think the Lights Camera flat, Lashes is a, their best product for ma mascara. Um, it does not come anywhere in comparison to this guy. This Milk Kush Mascara is probably one of the best next to the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara that I've ever used. And it has a fluffy brush too. The formula is, this is like one coat and you wouldn't have to do anything else. I always put two to three coats because my lashes are very thin. They're long, but they're thin. So, so far this is like right now my top favorite mascara of the year. I also have this little guy that I just picked up because I was out of mascara. And I'm like, okay, what the hell? I'm just going to do it. I like their fake lashes, so they have mascara. This Ardell. This stuff right here is amazing. And their brush, I love the brush on this. So it's flat, so you can get like get it right up underneath your brush, and then you can turn it, and then you can fan it out. This is an amazing um, drugstore product. I think I spent less than $5 on this, but I reach for this or the milk, the bougier one, on a daily basis. Like, it's either these two. These are the ones I use. This, I, I don't know what they were trying to do. Maybe they're just trying to make it pretty. It is a pretty packaging. I do like that. But... As far as the product, it's nothing to write home about. That's just my opinion on it. Okay. Next. And I hate giving bad reviews, you guys. I really do. But if you're a top name brand like Tarte, your stuff should be on point every time. That's just my opinion, though. Like, I just feel like this is a great packaging. It has a, a fun name. It should have been an amazing product. If you're going to put that much work into a packaging and a fun name, it should be like, yeah, that's awesome. It's bright pink. I'm just going to grab for that every time, but that's, I'm going to give this to my daughter. I'm not going to use it. Just not impressed with it. Okay. <clears throat> now, didn't use a lip liner, but this guy, <laughs> this thing's amazing. Um, I don't know if you can really see that because my lights are kind of janky, but this brand, I've never used this brand. I, I've heard so many good things about this brand. It's all over my Instagram pay, feed, but um, the Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil, it's not even an oil. I don't know what it is. It's like magic. I put this on yesterday. It has this really cool syringe-like tip. I don't know if you can see that either. Let me see if I can. But like, <laughs> I know, I think it's cute. But the product inside is absolutely amazing. It rubs in. It dries down. It's not oily at all. And it gives your face this beautiful, like, I don't know, it's not like glittery, metallic -y. it's just this perfect glow. It's absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me a lot of the Gerard Cosmetics. Now, Gerard Cosmetics, this BB cream, Illuminate cream, it, it's amazing. It gives you this beautiful soft glow, and I use this every day. The consistency is a lot different in this. They say it's an oil. There's no way it's an oil. It's not oily. It doesn't have any of that kind of properties. I don't even know how to explain the, the consistency. It's like between a light oil and water but not really much oil in it. But it gives you the beautiful soft glow that this does. And this is a cr like a liquid cream. You don't need very much, that's for sure. So it probably it would probably last a little while. Not very, you know, not months and months, but it will last a little, yeah, yeah, a little while. So I, I'm happy with this. I think this is a great product. I really enjoyed using it yesterday, and I will continue to use it. Um, I didn't get a chance to use the Ace Booty um, eyeshadow duos. I gave them to my daughter. But then, yesterday, I got in the mail something I was super, super, super excited about. I got this little card in the mail. It said 4th Ray Beauty, like skincare. 
that's super affordable and you have rave reviews about it. So because it's super affordable, I just went ahead and purchased it. Um, I got two things. My first impressions are this. I put on last night before I went to bed the Fourth Ray Beauty Remedy 10% Niacinamide Serum. Now this stuff, it says you can use morning and night. I'm only going to use it at night. And the reason why I'm only going to use it at night because it is on the oily side. So it's oily, but then it dries down and it's tacky. Which to me, I don't like... Tacky for me is like a primer, and I don't like a tackiness when I go to bed. But I put it on, and I, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to try it and see what it does. So I put it on, and then I put it on the Fourth Ray Watermelon Face Milk on top of it. Um, this really got rid of the tacky texture that I didn't like, and it sat very wonderfully on my face. It wasn't, this isn't oily at all. It's beautiful. This comes in a glass bottle with a dropper. I don't know if you can, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Um, this smells exactly like, oh, sorry, my watermelon uh, sleeping mask from Glow Recipe. This is my go-to. I use this every other night. But I got this because I really did like my, I love my watermelon sleeping mask. And this is for everyday use. So I put it on last night and on top of my niacinamide serum. And... This morning I woke up and I had that same beautiful baby soft feeling and it wasn't tacky and it just like, I don't, I just rinse my face off in the morning. I don't put soap or anything on it and I just wiped all my eye cruddies off and it was so soft. I just, I was surprised over just one night how well it worked and I'm going to use this every single day. I used this this morning, like I got up, rinsed my face off and I came in. The first thing I put on was this and it just melted into my skin and it smells so good and it makes your face like I don't know if you can tell with my camera it's camera's not the best but it just it makes my face so soft and I don't have anything else on but this um so I'm gonna be using these two for a month and see how it goes um I'm gonna order another one of these for my daughter because I think she wants one of them but there's some other things. There's, I think there's a vitamin C that I'm going to try. But this this brand, I don't remember. I think this was like $12 or $14. And this one was like $10. These are incredibly affordable. I'm, I'm shocked. Because if they work as well as I'm hoping that they do. And that I've read the reviews. Then this is probably the best thing out there right now for affordability and skincare. Uh, but that's all my exciting news. I'm you guys, <laughs> my <laughs> daughter just came in here, busted in the door, wanting me to go with her uptown, and I'm like, I'm doing a video. Should I come sit? And she's like, I want to be on your video. This video is almost over. What is happening? That chair. <laughs> what are we doing? I was telling them about all the products that I'm, I got in my Boxy Charm and the stuff on my face that I really like that I'm going to. Buy for you. Oh, that is a lie. You no, I said I'm going to buy them for you. When did you say that? On camera. Oh, did you say that to me? I didn't say it to exactly. you. Exactly. It was supposed to be a surprise, but That's hey. That's a lie. You just have to bust in here and do whatever you want. How does it work? It works really well. I like it. Yeah. This is kind of tacky after you put it on and it dries down, and this is not. I put that on and that on. And I used this this morning. So, we'll see. I don't know. Did you say that this is... Yeah, I told him about the flow recipe and the smell. It smells exactly like it. Nice. Yeah. What color is this? Did you find out? Yeah, it's, it doesn't have a color name. It's called Fair. So that's the color. Fair. <laughs> like fair, light, and medium, dark. There's only fair. two. There's this and bronze. That's it. That's the only two they have. <laughs> One or what the other. What if you're black? <laughs> I don't know. That's all they have. Does she use bronze? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what they have on the website. Before Yikes. there's two colors. That was it. It was kind of, you know, yeah, not super. I don't support. I <clears throat> do you like it? I do like it. Yep, I love it. It actually, I put it on the six yesterday, six in the morning before we left, and about took my makeup off about nine last night, and this and this day naked was still on my face. Everything else had went to garbage, but those two things, these two things are still there. Not in my creases, not in my crevices, they were still there, hanging out.
Uh, oh my god. Okay, with I'm that, right. I'm going to name this video. If you guys like my content, <laughs> please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of this commotion, <laughs> ring that bell. Thanks, guys. See you later.